So today we're at the Bergen County Law and Public Safety Academy. We've partnered with New York State DOT, the New York State Police, the New Jersey State Police, and a number of other responding agencies to provide nationally compliant responder training to fire, law enforcement, and towers. Sometimes people aren't looking, they see the red lights on the side of the road and the first thing they do is jerk their wheel to move over and they're not looking in their mirror to make sure there's nobody next to them or in their blind spot. Our partners at New York State DOT approached us and wanted to work with us to make sure that our borders are treated in the same way. I can't stress enough how important it is that we get together with other states, with other agencies and other responders, such as at this joint TIM operation training that we're doing here in New Jersey. We're gonna show you some practices, you're gonna learn some things that you can do to make the scene a little bit safer. We have a four hour classroom schedule where we teach various pieces of traffic incident management. My answer is, you're the incident commander. Anybody that comes to that scene, if somebody stops their car to get out of their car to see what's going on in that accident, they belong to us now. It's our job to protect them somehow. People take what they've learned in the classroom and apply it to a tabletop exercise. I'm not there. Like this is just, I'm just telling you the, the scenario. You guys are really the ones now coming together and saying, where are you gonna go? There's no reason that can't be taken out of there. And those marks in the road serve just as good of a, of a measuring device as the truck itself. We'll have an outdoor activity where we've lined up vehicles from both New York State and New Jersey DOT to be able to show people the tools that we use on the highway to be able to get our roadways open safely and quickly. So we have the pre-warning in place. We have our taper, we have our buffer space. Now we have the towing company on scene. That has a 35 ton boom. The longer you extend that boom out, okay, the less, the less lifting power you have as it's extended. We wanna make sure that we're working together to accomplish the same goal. Safe and quick clearance, interoperable communications, and responder safety. At the end of the day, everyone deserves to go home, whether they're a responder or someone who's driving on our highways. <laughs>